Play action. Minshew wide open for the touchdown. O'Shaughnessy. That was so much fun to watch, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, so the Jags are waking up to their first win of the season. You got to wonder, did many of them get a lot of sleep last night? So pumped and excited, possibly, by the way, saving their chances this year in terms of that win. We're taking a look at all of the biggest plays in a special edition of Monday Morning Quarterback. Now, it's really Friday. I know it seems confusing, but news for Jack Sports analyst Mark Burnell is joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. There's a certain pep in my step this morning. I must admit, so excited that the Jags won. <laughs> we got a win. One and two right now. And, and it wasn't the cardiac cats. We actually pulled it off really at the beginning in terms of having some fantastic play. Let's look back if we can. I yep. mean, uh, of course, those two TDs in, what, the first couple of minutes was a fantastic. A great start. A the great recovery start. of the, on that muffed punt was fantastic uh -huh. as well. I mean, it just... I, it just breathed life back into this team. You know, it certainly did. And anytime you get a win, it covers a lot of problems. Obviously, last week, there was a lot going on with Jalen Ramsey. But what a great start to this game. I mean, the Titans did us a favor here. Give us the ball in point-blank range. And uh, Gardner Minshew uh, throws a touchdown shortly after this. But this is a really bad play by that uh, Titans punt returner. But uh, good special teams play. And we get the ball. We score. And there's something about starting fast. I mean, we, we go, uh, we're, we're off to a 14-0 to zero, uh, start. And it's tough in the NFL for an opposing team to recover from that. And with the way our defense played, it was just a perfect night, really an improbable night. You just didn't expect it with all the stuff that was going on. It was a big win. We needed it. And no drama on the sideline like last Sunday's game, which we'll get to in a, just yes. a second. Let's talk that you brought it up, though, in, in terms of the defensive line. I mean, mm -hmm. Marriott must have been on that ground more times. I was trying. I was looking at his jersey. I mean, he was down on the... Calais Campbell had a fantastic game. And, and we've got to give a shout-out to all of them. Nine sacks total, three for Calais. Nine sacks just doesn't happen very often. But when you're in Saxonville, it does happen. Marcus Mario had a, had a really rough night. You know, a lot of times, too, Jen, when, when the sack numbers are that high, it's not just about the defensive line. It's about the coverage. Mariano obviously had nowhere to go with the ball. So that tells you that the linebackers were covering their um, uh, tight ends and running backs. And the defensive backs, Jalen Ramsey, A.J. Bowie, they're covering the receivers, did a very good job in coverage. And we just got off the quarterback. There's nowhere for Mario to go right there. And so there. There's another sack, that one by Smoot. And then, of course, Gardner Minshew. I, oh, my I, gosh. I think, uh, equal really? to his play on the field, I love watching the reaction from his father <laughs> in the stands. It's uh, it, was, awesome. it was the best. The, the dad gets so fired up. It but it's just a proud father sure, in this it's just incredible moment. We all can moment. relate to that. And again, I used the word earlier. It's improbable. This rookie is not supposed to be playing like a eight-year vet. We're waiting for those unrookie, those rookie-like moments, and they're not happening. So... Good for him. He's throwing the ball very, very well. I love the fact that he's making good decisions. No turnovers. Uh, his accuracy, uh, his arm strength, his moxie, the, the confidence. Uh, it's just been so fun to watch, and he's playing great football, and uh, it's got to continue. And if it does, there's, a, there's many more wins down the road for us. So, Jen, hope is alive again, right? We're, we're feeling, hopeful again yeah. after last week's debacle which may still be a debacle. We'll find out what happens in the next few days. But I don't uh, know. We're on crazy. fire. I know. It's crazy. Love, so I'm watching the game with my 12-year-old daughter, yep. okay? She loves, loves, loves football. She plays football herself. She's like, Mommy, did you see Minshew? I mean, he threaded that right through Westbrook, you know, yeah. right to Westbrook, right, you know, past the defender. I mean, it's just so fun to watch as a spectator, is. which is what's so important for the Jags because they need that. They, they do. really need that. They do. We so, do. So let's talk a little bit about Jalen Ramsey. Do we have really to? quick. I know. You know, you know, he made it kind of sound like Sunday's sort of drama was not really the, the catalyst to maybe his decision on asking for this trade. You know, talked a little bit on the on the you know the podcast a little right. earlier. Bring, take us to the locker room if you can. Was this maybe something that happened in the locker room after the game? Coach was mad or everyone else, and he felt like some disrespectful things were I said? Think, I think, and it's something that we hear often, I think Jalen's feelings got hurt. Yeah. I, it just sounds like his feelings got hurt, and, um, and he would rather be somewhere else, which is unfortunate because you say, you know, if you, if you tell the media that you don't want to be a Jacksonville Jaguar, well, you're telling the locker room that you don't want to be their teammate anymore. That couldn't be more uh, disrespectful for a team. And listen, I said this last week. If you don't want to be here, uh, then go somewhere else. We, we really want to have you because you're a really good player. But we don't want to put up with the headache, too. And it's just, 
It's sad. I think Jalen is a is a, is an immature player, and it's unfortunate because he is a great player, and a great great players help you win games. So I don't know. This obviously is the decision that the ownership will be making. It's my understanding that they really want to keep Jalen. Why wouldn't you? Um, but I, I just hope if we does stick around that the antics go away, that he starts thinking more about the team than himself. But this is disappointing. Think about this. Our best player last week said he didn't want to play for the Jacksonville Jaguars anymore. That's absurd. That's crazy. It should never happen. But here we are. And, you know, maybe the next, next few days... He's on a different team. And, it could happen. And, and maybe he'll maybe he'll change his mind because there was, you I know, hope, we beat the yeah. Titans. So let's if just he, keep our fingers if crossed. If he changes his mind, no I just pages. hope he starts behaving better. <laughs> right. I'm yeah, with you. We'll see. Thank you, Mark. My Appreciate pleasure. it. Thank you.